Okay, we are working <clears throat> a little bit on this pegboard toy. Um, this pegboard toy is kind of a fun project. It involves a mallet uh, and it involves these three pegs which move up and down in the planes in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, this particular video is going to show you how to make the three pegs right here. The round, the triangle, and the square. They are the easiest ways to get started. So let's go ahead and go for it. The first peg that we're going to start off with is the round peg. It is one inch in diameter and it's extruded to three inches long. It's really easy to actually go ahead and make. I'm going to use the drop down menu, new, and then part. Uh, create a 2D sketch. Choose the X axis. <clears throat> go to our circle tool. Click on the origin type in the number one, so it's one inch in diameter, and click finish sketch. Then come over to the extrude, extrude it to three inches long, and we have our finished part right there. You want to go ahead and change the color to uh, whatever color you want. I'm going to say red right here. Then you're going to go file, save as, and actually save um, Save it in the uh, pegboard toy file that your your uh, folder, excuse me, that you have actually created. Um, name it your name underscore red cylinder. Okay, so that is the first piece. Now the second piece we have is a. Well, I want to say that one for last is a square peg. So the same thing, file, new, part, create 2D sketch, choose the x-axis, go to your rectangle, start at the origin, hit the 1, tab 1, that gives you a 1 inch square, click finish sketch, extrude it out to 3 inches, and you have your finished piece. Change it to... See, I'm going to go sky blue. We will file, save as. Again, save it in your pegboard toy box, um, square, and blue. And then finally, we have our triangle, which we're going to do right now. The triangle peg is like so. Now drawing the triangle can be a little bit tricky, so please pay attention on this one. Uh, we are, just like everything, new, part, uh, create 2D sketch, choose the x-axis. Now here is the deal. Use your line, and you are going to draw a horizontal line right here, just like so. Then up like that and then let it snap to the coincident constraint so that you have a triangle. Now this is most assuredly not the correct triangle. You have to make an equilateral triangle that's one inch on all sides. Easiest way to do this is bring this down, type in the number one. So now that side is one inch. Type in the number one, so that side is one inch. Type in the number one, so that side is one inch. Now you have an equilateral triangle. Click Finish Sketch, extrude it out to three inches, change the color. So for me, I'll go gold on this one and save the part. Hey, <coughs> excuse me. And we've got that saved. Okay, so this is how to do your three pegs uh, for this particular project. Um, we are going to have other videos that show you how to do absolutely everything else. So go ahead, stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need to get the concept. 